Alright, hello everybody, and welcome to what I believe is episode 5 of my GUI tutorial series. In this episode, we are going to continue with the lists by creating the actual list that houses the components, um, and creating the page list base class with a few other cool things, and in the next episode we will finish, so that's exciting, and then we'll move on to the next thing. So, let's get started. First, we want to make a new class in a new package. This package is going to be list, and as you probably guessed it, the name of it, actually, <laughs> it's actually going to be in a package called page, because we should create the pages first. We haven't created those. Then, we want to create a class called page. There we go. So, now, what is this class going to have? This plas class is going to have a public component uh... let's see component component um... it's also going to have a public int x public int y public int width and a public int height now these are just going to be for positioning. They will be taken in from the constructor from the actual list, so they're not that important, but they are needed to know where to render it. So now we will create our constructor. This constructor is going to have int x, int y, int width, and int height. There we go. Make sure that's all good. My writing is off today. Sorry about that. Um. Let's make sure we set this to all of our variables inside our class. This dot x equals x. This dot y equals y. This dot width equals width. And there we go. And of course, we are going to have to take in the thing that makes this. Um, actually, it's going to need a component array list. <laughs> oh, what am I doing? So an array list of components. There we go. So now, let's take that in in the constructor. Oh, um, there we go. Make sure we set this dot components. Oh, make sure we add an S to that. Not really necessary, just more I organized this dot components equal to components. What have I done? Uh oh. <laughs> components equals components. And that should do it. There we go. So now we will need a public void tick. and of course a public void render now at the moment tick does nothing we will need the render though so what is the render going to do it is going to draw the page of course so it is going to have to loop through every one of the components and render those so we're going to do an advanced for loop for component No, so component C in components. We are going to have to do C dot render. And make sure this is graphics 2D, at least if you are following my game. If you have your own game, no need. And that is it. Now, yeah, that's all we have to do. So now let's get the page. Um, we're not going to have adding components yet. Um, that is for a later episode. So this is just going to be the base class. Now, what is page list going to have? It is going to have, of course, an array list of pages. This will be taken in in the constructor. Oh my gosh, what am I doing? An array list of pages. There we go, and let's call that pages. 
Now this is going to need a public int x, a public int y, a public int width, and a public int height. There we go. So now let's be lazy and let's get all of the, let's get the constructor from the page class, move it into the page list, make sure we change this, change the constructor, and we also have to change components to pages. There we go. Turn it into a page array list, and we did it. That is all we're gonna have to do at least for setting up variables. We're going to need a lot more, sadly. <laughs> we are also going to need a public int current page. There we go. And now, we are going to need a public um, void generate pages. Here we are going to generate the pages. That is for next episode. We have to make sure we call it at the end here. Let's not forget that. Because that would be quite unfortunate. There we go. So now we need a public void tick and a public void render with our graphics object. There we go, and make sure you import that. Now we are going to have to draw the page. Let's make it a nice brown. So g dot fill rect. We have to fill a rectangle at the x, at the y, at width, and at height. Now we have to set the color to color dot. Is there a brown? Um. Hmm. Color dot, let's see, what can we do? Let's set it to a nice gray. There we go. That is almost the render method finished. We just have to make sure we draw the pages. So, for page p in pages, p dot render. And pass in our graphics object. Now that is the class. Alright, that does it for this episode. We set up our base class, which is amazing. Wait, um, we don't want to render all of our pages, so we want to just do pages.get. And we want to get the current page. We don't want to draw all the, all the pages, that would be useless. Alright, now. That does it for this episode. In the next episode, we are going to add page switching, and we are also going to finish the list so we can have them rendering on the screen, which is exciting. The hardest part is going to be generating the pages. So we will get started on that. Anyways, thank you everybody for watching this episode of my GUI tutorial. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.